Crucify the flesh with its passions and desires. The concept of crucifying the flesh comes from the Apostle Paul's words in Galatians 5.24. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. In this verse, it's clear that crucifying the flesh is not something done to the believer, but by the believer. We were placed into the body of Christ the moment that, by faith, we trusted Jesus for salvation. At the moment of our conversion to Christ, when we move from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, our fleshly lusts were nailed to the cross, and those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh. Believers are to take their old sin nature and symbolically speaking, nailed it to the cross. We crucify the flesh through repentance of sin by turning our backs on the old way of life by saying no to selfish and sinful passions, and by utterly renouncing the flesh. According to William Law, if our life is not a course of humility, self-denial, renunciation of the world, poverty of spirit, and heavenly affection, we do not live the lives of Christians. Indeed, all who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. All the lusts of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life were crucified with Christ on the cross 2,000 years ago. Those who truly understand that it means to trust in Christ's death on the cross to pay for their sins understands how destructive their sins truly are. After all, our sins were the reason we stood condemned to die by the curse of the law. Those who trust in Jesus do not immediately and completely lose our desire or instinct to do sinful things. The want to sin is not entirely gone. We may sometimes still give in to our desire to sin, but Christians are no longer people controlled by our sin. We have agreed sin is worthless and we have declared in Christ our intention to move with Him away from sin using God's power. To crucify the flesh is to obey the call to Christian discipleship. It means losing our life to find it in Him. As we daily put to death the sinful nature, we begin to walk in victory over the flesh. Romans 6, 13 says, Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourself completely to God, for you were dead, but now... You have new life, so use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Amen. God bless everyone.